Hey, sup fam, it's me, Andre, and welcome to Andre's most boring video ever that no one ever asked for, but he ran out of ideas. I want to talk about something that got a lot of people here on my channel in the first place, and that is music. Music is all we got. And so, I wanted to talk about my top five albums of this year thus far. Maybe these are not albums that you've listened to, or maybe they are albums that you've listened to, because most of them are popular albums. And maybe, you know, if, if you're not a fan, you could give this a listen, because some of these albums are a surprise to me. I was not a fan to begin with, and now I am. So let's start with my list. Five. All right, this one is going to be the most interesting one, and the one that caught me by surprise, and that is new Lana Del Rey album, Norman motherfucking Rockwell, or whatever, let me see what it's called. Favorite, favorite, favorite album this year, and don't know what it's called. Oh yeah, 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 I had it right! This album is one of my favorites because it's so calming, very beautiful, and I have never been a Lana Del Rey fan whatsoever, and the fact that with this album she got me in, and got me listening to sad girl tunes about like everything that you know you could go through as a girl and, and it just made me feel some type of way. The song Cinnamon is fucking fire, you guys. So that's my fifth album. Number four been Drake's care package. Now I understand that these were all old songs, but these were songs that meant something to me growing up, and I don't really have much more to say than that. Let's get into the top three, which I really made this whole list for, but five sounds better than three. Number three, I'm not even sure how to pronounce her name, but it's her ugh, those feelings again. I did not expect to like this album as much as I did. It's so good. It's so good. Every song on it sounds beautiful. Every song of it made me feel something. Every song of it made me almost cry. It is a great album, y'all. Listen to it. I don't think it's getting enough play. It's probably the best R&B album this year. Listen to it. Listen to it. Listen to it. I'm not even gonna describe. Listen to the, listen. Hey, yo, yo. Listen to the fucking album, okay? Number two, James Blake's Assume Form. Oh my God, I love James Blake. In Assume Form, I thought was gonna take it for me for album of the year, cause it's, it's hits after hits after hits after hits after hits. It's beautiful. It's the first James Blake album I've heard that's not sad. It was my album. Like, I, I used to listen to it every single day. But there's one album that came out on top of it, and y'all already know what it is. Number one, Igor. Tyler Creator, I've been a fan of since Wolf. Yes, I'm, I I mean, I, I liked some things on Bastard, and I liked some things on Goblin, but Wolf is really what where he got me, and, and it made me and my sad boy feels, because he would talk about stuff like, you know, not knowing his father or something. I don't know. You know, stuff like that. So I got into him. Then I was a huge proponent of Cherry Bomb when no one else was a proponent of Cherry Bomb. And then, you know, he came out with... Scumfuck Flower Boy, which everyone loved. And so for me, I was very excited for Igor. I didn't listen, it leaked, I didn't listen to the leak. There were singles, I didn't listen to the singles. Then it came out and it has been on repeat almost every day. Igor is such a beautiful album. It's so strong. It goes over like, like heartbreak and a breakup and everything. Like it is just such a beautiful album. It's put together beautifully. Every song matches into one another. All the vocals are great, and even things that you can't you can't hear are amazing. So please check it out, and and that's my list of five. Yes, this is a short video because I'm trying to do some shorter things, y'all. Thank y'all for watching. Thank you for supporting. Thank you for everything. I have somehow kept up with these Thursdays. It it means the world to me that people are still watching me, whether it's a little bit of views or a lot. And just I just want to say thank you. All right, have a great day. Bye.